a lot of people say, girl, you got a mouth on you. Mm -hmm. um, but, but you have to you have to know how to handle your business. Yeah. So when did you come to the point where you knew you have to be homeless? Like, how was what was that moment when you realized I was devastated? Mm -hmm. How was your first night? Hello, my name is Ask Pharmacist Tish, and I'm here with this amazing, lovely lady. What's your name, sweetie? Sean. Her name is Sean. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Nice to meet you. All right, so I am here to. Um, this is Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes, this is downtown Charlotte, the most uptown. Uptown, thank you. Years ago, uh huh. It used to be uptown and downtown. Right. So uptown, you were going shopping. Okay. Downtown was McDowell Street, and you usually, if they mentioned downtown, you were going to okay. Well, you brought awareness to that. That's true. That was years ago. Okay. Now it seems to be uptown from here to Davidson, North mm -hmm. Carolina. I mean, I mean, everything's uptown. Right. I feel it's about the rain. Like, what do you what do you usually do when it rains? Well, usually go to my spot. What's your spot? Well, under a bridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how long um, have you lived in the Charlotte area? Um, I'm from Charlotte. Oh, born and raised. Yes. Okay, they said very few people are born and raised here, um, but you are the one of the rare people that's born and raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, and the only reason I have three siblings. Okay. An older brother that's ten years older. Now, how old are you? My, I'll be fifty-three on the twenty-ninth. 29th of this month. Yes, ma'am. Okay, happy birthday <laughs> coming up. Um, my brother is ten years older than me. Mm -hmm. I have two twin sisters that are nine years older than me. Not my twins; they're twins. Okay. And they were born in the town that mom and dad came from, which is Rutherford. Town. Okay. okay, got you, Rutherford. Mm -hmm. And since I was so long from them, mm -hmm. and daddy had got on at the academy, he was an original Charlotte City police officer. Oh, okay. So now, your, dad, your dad was a police officer? Right here. Oh, wow. Now it's Charlotte Mecklenburg because they combined in city county. City used to be here, you know, and county was out there and shocked and right. Okay, wow. The county out there. So you know about Charlotte. And, and, um, <laughs> the queen of Charlotte. <laughs> uh, he was a police officer for 17 years. Wow, okay. So what kind of upbringing did you have? Did your dad being a police officer, was, well, he, was, he, was he very hard on you, or how was it? Not, not, it's just a joke. Believe okay. me when I say what I'm getting. It's not as bad as being a preacher's daughter. <laughs> I'm sorry. But. <laughs> she said it's not as bad as being a preacher's daughter. But <laughs> okay, but it's the next best worst thing. <laughs> Dad didn't have no demerits inside or outside the squad. He didn't have no what now? Demerits. Okay, what do you mean by that? Well, merits are good things. Okay. Demerits are bad things. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, you didn't embarrass me. Right. You do not embarrass uh, a man. Yeah. No, especially him. Mm. Um, he was the father of the man of the house. Mm -hmm. He's a man, period. Yeah. No no woman is coming up on that. <laughs> no. Um, the mm -hmm. funny thing is, he's six foot two and dressed out of 350 pounds. He's a big man. Big dude. Mm -hmm. My mama was my size. Your mama's what? My size. Oh, okay. Actually, a little bit lower. Okay. So it was like night day. Right. Like, you know. She was a tiny woman. Yeah. Real petite. Petiter than I am. Uh huh. I look like my dad with the light colored hair, and mm -hmm. but I have the statue. Okay, got you. So, did you have a happy childhood, or did well, you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't anything I didn't want for, but mom and dad did get divorced when I was like nine or ten. Okay, with nine or ten, and how did that divorce affect you, or did it affect you? Well, I remember, I didn't think the judge could do this, but the judge actually had me come up on mm -hmm. the um, what do you call it, the seat there, right, and asking me who I was. Wow, that's a that is a burden not to put on a child. Of course, I was going to be with my mom. I was nineteen years old. I right, but I didn't want to say that out loud and hurt my dad. Right, at nineteen years old. Right, you know. Right, but I did it. You mm -hmm. know, Mama got granted. You know, the house, the children, you know, everything. Right. Um, I guess they agreed applicably in court after all the. Bullshit they put each other through. Mm hmm. So, um. Was there any abuse in the home or? Well, I mean, a lot of mouth. 
You're right. Okay, got you. You know. Okay. Nothing physical, but okay. There's know. a lot of verbal. You know, yeah. just marriage. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes you got crunk. Verbal can hurt worse than a. You're right. You're you right. Know, it can tear the spirit cause, down. Because some of those jabs stick. Right. You remember that shit years later. Right. You know, and it would be like, my dad said that. Right. Or and that would hurt you. You, you that. know, and I remember. Um. Hiding in my toy box mm. when the house got loud. Mm -hmm. and you were hiding your toy box when it got loud, yeah. Yeah, and I wouldn't come back out until it got Right. But, you know, children mm -hmm. learn to have adapt safety. Right. Things, you know? Children are very resilient. They are. Mm hmm. So, how were your teenage years? Were you um, were you a typical teenager? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I skip school, you know. Right. You know, experience this, experience that. Right. You know. Um. But I, I mean, you know, I didn't get you know, punished too often. Like, right. You know, I did follow the rules. Okay, you did you follow know. the rules. Yeah. Okay. I did follow the rules. I hated the school bus. So. The school bus? Yeah. Why? What, what was wrong with the school bus? I was. Um, once I was switched over to like Dilworth Elementary. Yeah, there. Her grandfather on her father's side was like an MIT graduate. He was like an engineer and building bridges and roads and shit like Okay. Each oh. he's, yeah, he's got money for him. He ain't gonna wear us foot. Right. Yeah. But um and Sarah lives in Shelby. Okay. North Carolina. And Caitlin and her little ass has moved all the way to Columbus <laughs> Ohio. So were you married? Yes, for 20 years. 20 years. How did that go? Oh, that was good. Okay. So are y'all still married? No, he's deceased. Oh, how long ago? About six years. Six years. And so how did you end up here at Homeless? Because he was We did everything we could to um, get on to the house. Right. The, the, really the usual story, but there wasn't enough to hang on to everything. Right. So because of the because your husband died, it, that's when the difficulty began. Yeah. So there were there were there any programs or anything that can help out? Well, I mean, I, well, I, you know what? You probably were so mentally hurt. It's hard to balance grieving and then trying to keep going with life. Well, Mama died first. Oh, okay. And when Mama was the matriarch, she held everything together. She right. Was the, she was the one, the one that told me and my sisters, please don't treat each other like that because you're going to. Right. Uh, your sisters, please love one another. Um, and I it devastated me. Because I still have my last two children were, you know, one was this big and one was a handbag. Right. And even though I had done it three times before, I still needed mom. Mm-hmm. Right. I had little ones. Right. I can't remember everything. But, um, right. And then, not back to back, but after mom died, then my husband died. So, mm -hmm. and that was kind of my world. Right. So, so your whole world just came down. Back to back, basically. Not back to back, but just enough where yeah, it just, yeah. you couldn't get your pick up from one thing, then the next thing yeah. happened. Exactly. Now, did you go into any substance abuse or anything? What? Alcohol or any well, other? I stopped drinking. You started or stopped? Stop. So you were drinking before, during a marriage? or? Yeah. Oh. But then somebody had to run the house. Right. Because I had two little ones. Um, now, why did why were you drinking? Like, were you? Did well, you have my some, husband drank. Oh, okay, so y'all, so, it was like yeah. a, that was your thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> right. Um, and I smoked a little marijuana back when I was younger. Right. But, I yeah. mean, but not, but nothing. Are you going through any substance abuse no, now? But you know, you kind of grow out of some things. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people don't though. So that's good that you could. So, how is your health care like? You know, listen. How do you said? Okay, so, you know, I'm all about the same age, and, you know, we have to deal with, like, uh, we have to deal with, um, yes, like, um, menopause. <laughs> I've been there for six years. How, so, how, so how do you deal with homelessness? I mean, and as women, you know, we take that for granted, but I can imagine, how do you deal with that? How do you, like, how do you get your health care? How do you get, do you get hormones? Through the herb. Hmm? Through the herb, the herb ministry. 
Center. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, which is now called a Rift Above. Mm-hmm. So what do they do, the Urban Ministry do? Um, I think um, I've seen that. So they're yeah. pretty helpful? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got lots of um, stuff going on. Um, you'll get a counselor, you know, if, if you're, you know, willing to, you know, do your part. Right. You what, what is your part? Well, I mean, you know, you got to make your appointments. you got to get to your appointments. Okay. You, you know, you got to, you know, you got people there to help you, but you got to do your job. And you're pretty good with that? Well, I might miss an appointment or two because, mm-hmm. because I have a hard time getting early in the morning. I know. <laughs> why Why when people help you out, you always got to wake up so freaking early? <laughs> I know. Morning's at 9 a.m. I'm like, damn. But, I know. She's like mine for after lunch. I know. <laughs> that is so true. I got to walk there, too. So I know. Me right. But, and sometimes you catch brush, you know, it's just down the street. Right, okay, so do you have to do like any hormone treatments? Or no, um, actually, they told me, Karen and Kathy, not to because Mama had had a stroke. Okay, gotcha, that's yeah. smart. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So you now, know your family history, so you know how to take care of yourself. Well, now, Kathy does, my sister Kathy does take her pill every day. Okay. She clowns and says, This is my not kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Um, so let me ask you this. So you have you have daughters, so do they know you're homeless? Um not directly. Mm-hmm. I mean, what do you, you know, it's not. You have a phone? A cell um, phone? No, but I got one company. Okay. Um, I don't my children is not there. They got Yeah, but you're their mom. I know. Uh, trust me, I'm the same way. If I were if I were you, I wouldn't tell my... It's like things I, mean, I go through, I don't even tell my daughter. Like my sister Karen lives in the house that um, we inherited from mom. Mm-hmm. Now I've been through her. Right. You know. Oh, I got pictures. Look at you. All that good stuff. And there's Facebook, of course. Right. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, you need a phone. Like, how do you stay in contact with the world? Like, how do you do that? Well, my boyfriend's got a phone. Oh, you got a man. Oh, okay, girl. <laughs> you shut my up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so you do have a way, an uh, outlet to, you know. It, now, mean, how is your relationship? So, he, is he homeless as well? Yeah. Um, he's got a different situation, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, what now? I don't mean nothing racist. Right, nothing okay. Racist. You gotta be tough to I can imagine. Um, I can imagine. No, that's that's not racist. That's being yourself. the truth. Right. Being a woman in general. Yeah. How do you how do you take care of because I see the men, like how do you take yeah. care of yourself? Um, well, you walk well, like you're six foot two and like three hundred fifty pounds. Right. Well, you try to and you're not my five foot two. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> A lot of people say, girl, you got a mouth on you. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but you have to you have to know how to handle your business. Yeah. Yeah. So when did you come to the point where you knew you have to be homeless? Like how was what was that moment when you realized Very I devastated. Mm-hmm. Very devastated. How was your first night? Very what scary. did you do your first day of homelessness? <laughs> really? Sometimes I you know, I, I have to think blocks. Right. So, but you haven't had any um, dangerous situations, no, so no. no one's ever tried to attack no. you. No. So you went straight from, you know what, your dad being a cop taught you how to be tough and taught you how to deal with any situation. Yeah, he definitely said you could take the bullshit for that matter. Right. <laughs> That's right. exactly the, you know, you get used to doing that. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. right. <laughs> you start with one, you busy do them all. And there's a word called no. Right, right, and it's not hard to say. Yeah, so is it like a community or family with yeah. everyone? Or yeah, you have any... everybody knows everybody, right? So, is any like any, or... oh, yeah, amongst us, sure, right? Like any relationships, yeah. <laughs> any family? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so what do you want to tell the people of Charlotte? You know, how to how can as a community we help, you know, and how can what can we do to? Because this is a beautiful city. 
it's a you know it's a lot of it's a lot of resources a lot of you know people go, are doing well here what do can we do go to your resources go, go, go to where go get your resources right oh um, do your footwork um, mm -hmm. it's going to be a lot but right you know, and what do you mean do your footwork what do you mean by that you, you might have to walk there you might have to take the bus but you got to go get what's available Right. I mean, you can't sit here and complain and not use what's available. Right. So you're saying that Charlotte does have like resources yeah. and stuff oh, to help if out. If you go hungry in Charlotte and you're homeless, that's your own. Family. Really? Yeah. All right. So there's always like a um, a place to get food oh, yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah. So you never went like without dinner no. or. Mm -hmm. How are the local restaurants around here? Do they help out or? Mm, sometimes. Okay. King's Kitchen's real good. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. Any other last words or anything you want to share um, to teach? I love you all. Oh. And thank you for letting me. Oh, thank you, Sean. Nice meeting you. <laughs> nice meeting you.